Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm in my Boca Raton office early uh, Tuesday morning um, here at, uh, uh, at, at uh, the operatory in which I'm going to be uh, seating this all on four case. Um, I just received it uh, last night and uh, the laboratory was kind enough to point out uh, uh, a few nice things. Um, let's Let's walk through the the case. Um, this is the case I'm going to seat this afternoon and I'm going to show you. Um, this is the finished product of the all on four. You can see now these are all denture teeth that are set um, specifically um, embedded in acrylic which is wrapped around a zirconia framework. Now I'm going to shine a light and try to shine a light through here to show you that there's absolutely no metal um, in between uh, these um, connectors here uh, for the uh, all on four case. Interesting to see that uh, aesthetically in the mouth and we'll do that this afternoon. Um, as I always uh, say in my other lectures, uh, it's important to pay attention to details. Structurally this is sound, the teeth look great, uh, we're all anxious to put this in, but let's let's walk through some of the details now that you need to know as a prosthetic dentist. Uh, especially when you're getting case back from your lab and they say everything is good to go. So first thing I'm going to do is put this aside. I'm going to take out the prosthetic screws that are returned with the case. And I would highly suggest that you make sure that uh, you do not use the screws the labs give you unless they're pristine, unless they come in a container where they're all brand new. Okay. So if you look at the working screws along the way, you'll find that um, sometimes they get embedded with um, with with wax and 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 particles and also um, they get nicked uh, when they're in a lab and so I'll try to point some of the nicks out that I found uh, on some of these screws but boy if you if you if you start using um, materials and screws that are um, that have aberrations or or nicks on them you're going to transfer that onto the patient's implant and um, we're we're discovering a lot of uh, interesting things that have occurred with the old IMZ cases and and we can apply the same principles here um, so this I'm gonna see if I can steady my hands a little bit here this is a screw that was presented now I'm all the way up to 20 power on this so let's see if I can make sure that you can see. You see that little refl reflection right there on this screw? That's a nick. And um, here's another nick right there. So if I go to tighten that down, that's going to transfer and look at right onto the threads. I'll point that out. You can see this this area right here. See how these are all nicked along with that. Let me just change the lens cover here and see if I can point that out a little better for you. Let's see if that's any better. All right. Okay. So, no nicks on the screw. So I checked this last night. I asked the lab for some new screws and uh, we're good to go. The other thing you need to check, now I'm going to go walk away from the screws. And also, many times these screws, by the way, are caked with... Uh, with wax, so you got to be careful. Um, especially, you know, make sure your lab steams them every time they give them to you, and also the model work. You know, you want to make sure nothing is transferred into your lab analogs. All right, so here's here's the lab analog. Let's get that in focus for you. All right, so this is three and a half power. This is what your normal dental loops are are showing each dentist, right? And uh, many times uh, we don't realize that magnification does uh, does help us tremendously, especially if we go up around 12 and a half to, to 20 power um, when when uh, using implants. Now, this uh, multi-unit abutment lab abutment is um, it has plus as a number of landmarks. It, it has a flat surface here, then a sloping surface, and then a butt joint. And then, then there's another flat surface. And every one of these surfaces needs to meet intimately with the lab replica that's, that's in the, the denture itself. So 
uh, go, let's go through that again. You've got a flat here, a flat here, and then a, a butt joint, and then flat here. So if you look at the reverse of that, you're looking at now the the design of these are you have a rounded surface internally so that it's not going to get hung up anywhere. Then you have this this change where the butt joint is on the um, the model on the lab component, and then you have the 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 area where the plastic is processed to the flat area and notice there's plastic running all over that flat area so that is a no-no so that has to be cleaned up uh, prior to the patient coming in the chair so we see that that whole area to delicately be cleaned up otherwise this case will never seat properly and here it is again on this side that has to be changed as well as this and this one. So all four have to be cleaned up and we'll, we'll do that uh, today. Um, how did that happen? Um, maybe the thing is when this was processed uh, the case may not have been screwed down all the way and I left a little crack in there for this material to go into. So I'm going to ask my lab is there an instrument that can be used to clean that? If not I have to painstakingly do it by hand. Otherwise, this case will not seat properly. There'll be a gap space, and your screws will come loose over time, and, and more and more problems that occur. All right, so we've got a little work to do before this patient comes in this afternoon. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo, uh, the, the, always the devil's in the details. Uh, we like to make sure that attention to detail is important. Um, you know, even looking through the top of, of your case, you want to make sure there's there's no aberration. See, here's a little fin, and here we're going to clean that up. Uh, looks like we need a better path on this one. This seems to look pretty good in this one as well. All right, much more later. Pick us up on the next video on this Tuesday morning here in Boca Raton. This is Dr. Jerry Como. We'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.